Following that, uh, the issuance of that alert, um, WHO has managed to work with the Ministry of Health to confirm uh, uh, the actual occurrence of, 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 of cholera. So since uh, about the 4th of July uh, to date, um, there have been 162 cases uh, of cholera, 133 of those um, in Jubek State and 29 uh, in Jongle State, Duke County. Um, these uh, cases uh, have been associated with uh, seven uh, deaths. We've realized that uh, residing in uh, uh, overcrowded and uh, unhygienic um, uh, uh, conditions such as we see here uh, is also a risk factor for, 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 for the transmission of cholera. Um, and uh, in, 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 in situations uh, such as these, of course, uh, it is very important to ensure that uh, the water that is used uh, is safe, to ensure that uh, uh, both solid and liquid waste are properly disposed of, and to ensure that general hygienic conditions, particularly um, the, the, in the, the preparation of food um, within families, uh, is done in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a in a hygienic and safe way. Um, you, you you cannot do much about uh, the general overcrowdedness, uh, but uh, certainly you can do uh, a lot in terms of uh, uh, personal hygiene because uh, the cholera boils down in, in a large measure to being in a large measure to being uh, something that is uh, that is of a personal hygiene nature. Thank you.